I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Tuesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with weather. Pretty quiet weather setup for us. Clear and cool for tonight. Many areas back down into the 20s, including here in the metro. As we work our way into tomorrow, lots of sunshine. Temperatures won't be unusually warm, but it will be mild out there. Highs right around 60 degrees. And then heading into Thursday and Friday, warming temps closer to 70 degrees with lots of sunshine and winds. Not a huge factor through the end of the work week. People forced from their homes by the Quail Ridge fire near Silver City are now being escorted back to see what they have left. Unfortunately, some will not have much to go back to. The 1,800-acre blaze has destroyed a dozen homes and seven other structures since it broke out Monday afternoon, but fire crews do appear to have a handle on it. This is video from the height of the fire yesterday, and this is the fire scene today. Officially, the blaze was 20% contained as of Tuesday evening, but firefighters made a lot of progress on containment during the day, especially because the winds died down a little bit, especially overnight, and the thing laid down and they were able to deal with it this morning. Albuquerque police say reports that a suspect killed by an officer last month was shot in the back are not totally accurate. The OMI autopsy found that Jacob Michelin had bullet wounds in the upper left back, the left mid back, and the left butt. But APD insists he did not have his back completely turned when Detective Trey Economiti shot him. The department says Michelin was on the ground, had a gun in his hand, and was pointing it when he was shot. Is this piece right here in the back? Is this in the side? Again, it's up to the interpretation of how you're looking at it. The shooting investigation is not complete, but Economiti has been put on desk duty because in a Facebook posting before the shooting, he described his occupation as human waste disposal. And there are questions about whether he was qualified by the department to be using the gun that killed Michelin. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10 o'clock.